Hi friends and welcome to Starry Hilder's Off-Grid Homestead. Here's a question and a very important question. Are you being faced with trying to figure out how you're going to sustain food-wise on your homestead? Perhaps you are creating that urban homestead and you're like, Starry, I'm really limited for space. I, I don't have a backyard. I don't have land. I don't have a garden spot. What do I do? Or maybe you have a rural homestead and you are looking at creating a utopia of food sources that will sustain you. Maybe you're just new altogether and you just don't know where to begin. Maybe you're dealing with relentless terrain like we here have on our homestead and we are limited for space. Well, as I show you clips from our beautiful Back to Eden garden in the height of Jude, and look at that growth. It's, it's gorgeous, isn't it? You can see we grow a lot of food, and it appears that we have a lot of space. The bottom line is we didn't have enough space, and I really needed to think outside the box, and that's when I started implementing container gardening. And I discovered the benefits of container gardening. I've done a lot of videos on YouTube about my Back to Eden garden method, but not so much on the container gardening. And I just want to sit down with you friends real quick here and discuss the benefits. You know, the first thing that I really loved about my container gardening is the flexibility. flexibility. And when I talk about flexibility, I'm really talking about gardening at any time. I love the idea that I wasn't restricted to just now gardening in the summer. We live, as you can see, look at all the snow, that's the Back to Eden Garden. We live in an area where we have winter and it's long and it's cold. Now, I will admit, it took me a good two years before I came to the realization that I could move my containers inside during the winter and continue to grow. In fact, in this clip, you can see behind me one of my main containers is a green stock container, which I left outside all winter long. And it wasn't until a couple of years later that I recognized the value of taking those containers inside and growing throughout the year. So now it wasn't just my green stock planters that I started prepping in the fall. As you see here from this clip, I am prepping them for my long winter here in Idaho. But I started taking, oh my, all different types of containers and bringing my plants in from the garden actually that I had even grown throughout the summer. So that was my first step into bringing the garden into my home so that I could grow year round. And then the benefit of bringing those containers in just kept, <laughs> it just kept exploding and giving me more opportunity because now I could start my seeds at any time. I could start a plant. I could start my Swiss chard. I could start some lettuce. I could start whatever I wanted. And I wasn't constrained now or restricted by the weather outside. I wasn't restricted by the soil. I wasn't restricted by anything. So the versatility that container gardening offered me right there was, that was a huge bonus. And then not only that, I started noticing, because I started experimenting, the variety. I could now grow more plants um, in my containers that maybe weren't suitable for, uh, say, my soil that I, I have in the Back to Eden garden. Uh, or maybe I couldn't find space and or the right uh, a spot for the sunlight, or there was maybe uh, not enough shade in the one particular area. It just increased the, the variety of what types of plants that I could grow. And that in itself gave me higher yield and... Um, Boy, right there, increased our food production. And here's a, another benefit, and this really caters to people who are new to any type of gardening. And you know what? This is exciting because people are waking up to taking control of their lives, of their food, their money, all of it, and they want to become more self-sustainable. And food, oh, when you can control uh, the food, the money you save, uh, the health benefits, uh, it, it is. It's just so empowering. 
And the one great benefit of container gardening is it is newbie friendly. It's novice friendly. Uh, if you come back to the next part of uh, my, my whole tutorial on how to container garden, I will walk you through successful container gardening and tips uh, for you to get started. But the bottom line is, if you're a newbie, this is a great way to take control of your life and become more sustainable. It's affordable. It's easy. You don't need a lot of startup. Uh, you don't need a lot of tools. And that is a great benefit. And here's some other great benefits to container gardening. And I love this. Uh, number one, pest control. Pest control. I'm showing you a clip of the Back to Eden Garden. And even the best organic method sometimes, ugh, you, you, you get a worm, you get a moth, you get an aphid, and the unfortunate thing about even the most natural, best methods out there, like the bat, I, I, you know, hands down, I think the back to Eden method does a stellar job at controlling pests. But the one year we did get these nasty little moths that turned into worms and ate our cabbage. Um, it's it's work because it just doesn't go to one plant; it goes to the entire crop and with container gardening you're not at risk like that you get one plant that gets infested you can actually pick it off manually the bugs or you could hose it off say at the side of the garage or you can bring it inside your house and just use a shower isn't it awesome because of the portability of these containers you're really at less risk for pests which is awesome and the other thing too Fertilizers. When it comes to feeding container plants, think about this. They do require some um, application of fertilizers, but so much less. You know, you really have a small concentrated area. You got a little bit of soil in the containers. There's not a, a, a lot there. You know, that's why you don't have to worry about weeds. You don't really have to worry about pests. Yeah, the the in fact, even the watering is less. And you all know, and I talk about this all the time, liquid gold, water is very valuable. So when it comes to watering, our goal always is to water less. And container gardening really does step up to the plate. And in fact, one of the reasons why I went with the green stock container is because it's a self watering container, which really added to our homestead. And not only and one last reason why we went with the green stock is because we had to go vertical. Yeah, Starry was running out of space, and the vertical planters served uh, a great purpose. So that was that was a, a good investment for us. Now, recycle, repurpose, that is the one last benefit that I want, I want to really point out about container gardening. I have picked up containers on the side of the road at the recycling center. I've, I've paid uh, you know, pennies at garage sales. So if you were on a budget, man, you really don't need much to start a garden when it is a container a garden. All right, my friends. I hope you are stimulated by the option of container gardening. Uh, come back, sign up for the summit. There's going to be a lot more information. I'm going to walk you through how to start a container garden so that it is successful and you can start growing food and, man, save on, on, on save on your food bill. You can control your own food, uh, organic produce. Uh, lessen your carbon footprint. There's so many wonderful benefits of gardening and container gardening fits in, oh man, with just about any person, anywhere, at any time. All right. God bless and come back. Starry loves you.